guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to go over an article titled, Are They Kidding? They're More Expensive Than Women of the Night. Men Confess the Outrageous Reasons They Refuse to Date Single Moms. And guys, this article which I'm doing today, this is an uh, entertaining article coming from the UK. And it's all about reasons why these guys, many of which are considered to be outrageous reasons that guys don't want to get involved with or date single moms. So it isn't just here in the United States that a lot of them are crazy. It's also on the other side of the pond. And I'm doing this one, guys, as a little reminder that be aware that when it comes to single moms, you're in for a lot of potential headaches. I'm not saying they're all like this. Let me make that abundantly clear. I've known and dated single moms that are pretty cool. But a lot of these things that you hear about single moms, a lot of these stereotypes can be right on the money. They can be a giant pain in the butt. So just letting you be aware of that. And there's all there's a whole laundry list of reasons, but oftentimes it's best to just simply have them for casual hooking up because a lot of single moms are recently out of marriages and things like that, and they just want to party. End of story. But save the relationships for the single moms that don't have any for the moms that don't have any kids. I mean not, not the moms, the women that don't have any kids. Okay. Save yourself a whole lot of headaches, but then again, there's gonna be headaches no matter what, but you gotta pick and choose if that's what you want to do. So it starts out saying. They're more expensive than women of the night. Their bodies aren't what they used to be, and their children walk in during sex. These are just some, some of the brutally offensive reasons that a growing group of men have given for not wanting to date single moms. On a recent thread on the secret sharing app Whisper, tried to explain the warped reasons they ruled out dating single mothers. Here, Sun Online meets the men who are breaking a taboo by refusing to date single moms. Jonathan Cass, 52, has joined their ranks. Having been single for three years and now making a point of swiping left on dating apps and rejecting women if there's any mention of little ones at home. He's quoted as saying, I don't want to be second best, he says. There's a real trend in current parenting that the children always have to come first. And women now seem to live for their kids, says Jonathan, who works in film and television and lives in Dunmow, Essex. Yeah, absolutely. That's one of the many, many reasons a lot of guys avoid uh, single moms because the kids will always come first no matter what. And they, they will drop the guy like a, like that if there's anything going on with the kids or anything like that. And don't get me wrong, you got to be a good parent and take care of your kids. But it's one thing if the kids become your entire life, you know, your reason for existence, which happens with a lot of people. And it can go both ways with the dads and the moms, but usually more of the moms. I mean, this generation for the last 20 years, you know, they had the helicopter moms, which they, they refer to here in the United States. These are the moms that the kids become the whole world, and mom's always there to hover above the kids, make sure they don't get hurt or any shit like that. No joke. That's one of many reasons. He goes on, and he's by no means alone in this. King Riches posted a video on not on not dating single mothers, which amongst other things says she should be focused on her kids, not on penis. And Richard Cooper's YouTube talk on the dangers of dating single mothers has been viewed 583,000 times. That's a lot of times. This clip opens with a slide, sh a slide showing a woman holding a baby with the meme, Single mothers here, please take care of some other man's, man's ball of flesh and eats money, destroys dreams, and, well, I can't see what this says, something stress. I offered you my, f my ruined, flopped, you know what? and mental issues. On another shocking blog called Everything Must Go, one of the posts is titled, Don't Date Single Mothers. Here is why. Reason number five is, a woman who has given birth can't even have a body close to what she had before carrying a child. This is not saying that the child isn't worth it, but this is not about you having a child. That child is hers, not yours. Her body was changed by something that is no benefit to you. Yeah, most women, after they have children, it's never the same. But here's the thing. There are plenty of women, and I know plenty of them, that have had children, sometimes multiple children, made the decision that they're going to do the best they can to get their bodies back into shape. And you got women that have had children that look damn good. Seriously. 30s, 40s, in some case, 50s. Is it the same compared to what it was when they were before they had kids or in their late teens and 20s in their prime? No. But they sure look damn good, nevertheless. But you got to work at it. Most people just aren't willing to do the work. And it goes both ways, both men and women. 
And it's also harder the older you get, which is why I encourage you guys, this is a men's channel, to get into exercising and working out and taking care of yourself. Because the older you get, the harder it is. Trust me on this. Goes on, I don't want to be second best. Jonathan explains, I'm a really spontaneous person and love the idea of saying to my partner, come on, pack your bags, let's go away for a couple of days. But you can't do that with kids. Everything has to be planned and organized beforehand. He also struggles with the emotional burden of having to be a father figure to someone else's child. Yeah, those are two things right there. If you're someone that likes to just spontaneously take off and leave, you know, with some, some woman that you're dating or involved with, if that's what your thing is, you're not going to be able to do that with a single mom because there's going to be all this stuff she's got to do with the damn kids, especially if they're, you know, obviously younger. And she's going to be checking in on them and texting and all this stuff, and just, you don't need that shit. So if that's what you need, you want someone that can just pick up and go, Avoid the single moms. And like he said, being a father to someone else's child, if that's not what you want, then don't do it. Goes on, he says, I've been married twice and had a son in my first marriage who is now 27. And in between the two marriages, I did date a woman with a son, but I felt like she wanted me to become a father figure to this child, he says. A lot of these single moms are looking for a new daddy for their kids, guaranteed. So be aware of that, guys. It raised a lot of complex feelings, I felt guilty to be spending more time with her and her son than my own, and I didn't like the idea of stepping on someone else's toes as his biological father was still very much around. While Jonathan wouldn't mind if a potential partner had grown-up children, provided they were no longer at home and doing their own thing, young ones are definitely out. Yeah, if they're older, out of the house, in college, not bugging mom all the time. That's a different ball game. But then again, obviously, mom's going to be a lot older. So this is only going to work if, obviously, you're an older guy, you know, and let's just say she has a, a kid in college, you know. Okay, fine. Then she's probably got to be at least, at least early to mid 40s, if not higher. But if you're older than that and she's damn good looking, takes care of herself, that's one thing. But, you know, that age, it's not going to be, the women aren't going to be as appealing as they were when they're younger keep that in mind. He goes on, I'm feeling selfish. I don't want to be part of a family unit and splashing out on days out together. Single moms are too expensive. I'm feeling selfish and not dating women with children is part of that. There are 2 million single parents in the UK and 91% of them are women. The list of celebrity single moms is endless and many including Britney Spears, Kate Hudson, Louise Redknapp, Kate Hudson, and Sun columnist Stacey Solomon has spoken out about their experiences. Dating coach Richard LaRunia, author of The Natural, How to Effortly Attract the Women You Want, warns that dismissing single mothers as potential partners is a risky decision. Yeah, okay, I can't wait to hear this. She says, uh, she's quoted saying, Finding love is hard enough as it is to narrow the pool even further is a mistake, he says. Oh, it's a guy. Yes, dating a single mother adds an extra potential complication, but it's not a total deal breaker. I won't spend my hard-earned money on them. Paul Dakers feels very differently. The 45-year-old logistics specialist from St. Ives in Cambridgeshire has never been married and has been single for over a year. He's quoted as saying, I would very much like to meet someone and have a family of my own, but I really don't want to date anyone with their own children, he says. Yeah, I mean, if it's not what you want, it's not what you want. And that guy, that dating coach, supposedly giving guys potentially a hard time for not being interested in single moms or women with um, children. If that's not what they want, it's not what they want. Don't give them a hard time about it because there's a lot of things you got to deal with. And it's just a pain in the ass. This guy's quote is saying, I dated a girl for a year and she had three children and lived a couple hours away. She would come and see me every two or three weeks. And I kept saying, I'll come and see you. I promise, but never did. I never met her children and don't want to. Paul is concerned that it would be awkward to be around someone else's kids. Another quote saying, She talked about them constantly, and I'd nod and shake my head in the right places, but I wasn't really paying attention. It puts me off that they wouldn't be mine. Okay. What would they call me? Paul? Dad? Oh no. It's weird. If they're not mine... I haven't brought them up, and I'm not mentally prepared to cope with that kind of responsibility. It might also feel reluctant, or I might also feel reluctant to spend my hard-earned money on them. It's also 
It is getting harder at my age now to meet women without kids, and I know it narrows down the numbers, but I'm trying to stay hopeful. Hey, if you don't want it, you don't want it, okay? You don't want to deal with that stuff. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Seriously. You know, I mean, I had a girlfriend once. Her brother, he got involved with a woman that had a couple little kids, and this guy was constantly shelling out money for them. I mean, this is like 20 years ago, and just constantly shelling out money for him. And eventually, he was dumb enough to marry this woman, and then she milked it for everything it was worth, and guess what? It didn't work out. Okay, but he spent so much money on her and them, and I know that's the reason she got with him, because she knew that he would do it, you know? But for him, he was getting a younger woman who was pretty, and, you know? But at the end of the day, I mean, who do you blame? Do you blame her, or do you blame him? You know? Goes on. Another one, another guy quoting a situation. Her son walked in on us in the bedroom. Dan Maurer is another good example. He is 46, but still wants to settle down and have at least two children, which can be an issue for some single mothers who are wary of entering new relationships and having more children. They've been there, done that, and don't necessarily want more, says Dan, a self-employed businessman from North London. Well, if he's 46 and he wants kids, if he is uh, a businessman, he's got money, he's not going to have a problem finding some woman that's willing to do that to be with a guy that obviously has some money. But just be aware, I mean, 46 years old, if he has any, let's say he had a kid by the time he was 48, he's in his upper 60s by the time they're moving out and all that. So just, you know, that's a lot. I got friends that are in their early 50s that, you know, they said if they ever they had to do it again. I have one friend, he's 53. And a friend of his, 51, his girlfriend got pregnant, which, in my opinion, wasn't an accident. And now that guy's going to become a father again at 51 years old. And my buddy, who was in the Marine Corps, said he'd rather go through boot camp multiple times again than have to be a father in his 50s. So be aware that to guys are watching this that may think they want to have kids and they're in their late 40s or whatever. It sucks the life out of you, is what I've been told. <clears throat> Goes on. The need to breed. The desire to procreate and carry on your ancestral line is something evolutionary psychologist Carol John believes is inbuilt in men. We are driven to reproduce and continue our lineage, says Carol. When men are looking for a mate, they look for someone physically and mentally healthy to breed with that. That way their child can be born strong. It is very possible that single mothers, especially those in their late 30s and 40s, may send out signals, even subconsciously, that they may not want to have more children. Men are aware that an investment of time is needed to put into a child, and on the whole, it makes sense for them to invest that time in seeking a woman who is prepared to have their own biological child. Goes on, Dan has dated a number of single mothers in the past, but is now avoiding them altogether. I think Dan's pretty smart because, he, like he said, he's dated a bunch of single mothers. And I, I've done articles, guys, by the way, talking about this. And, you know, the stories I've heard in the comment section about the single mothers, there's a lot There's a lot to it. Okay, a lot of guys have had bad experiences. They don't want to do it. Like I said before, it's not all. We make that clear. But a lot of these stereotypes are right on the money. This guy, Dan, is being quoted as saying, I've not had great experiences dating single moms and don't want to go there again. One of my exes had a 12-year-old son, and we've been on and off for a few years. The last time we went out in February, we were trying to catch up in her bedroom. Talking, being intimate, and her son just walked in on us. She seemed fine with it, saying he knew about us and he has the right to see her when she wants. But that totally put me off. I'm not the biological father, though, so it means I can't set any of the standards or rules. Yeah, imagine that. You're you're hooking up, going at it, and then some kid walks in the room and crazy, and, and mom doesn't react in a way she should. Guy's quote again is saying, The kids of another woman I dated didn't really accept me, and there was a feeling of, Who are you? You're not my dad, and it just adds to complications. Yeah, of course. I mean, you have all these kids, and they can just do what they want. I mean... I'd have a hard time not laying down the law if a freaking kid got rude or disrespectful and started acting out of hand. I wouldn't care what she'd say. I would start laying down the law, and that problems could arise. This is why I don't do that kind of dating. I mean, like I said in the beginning of the video, guys, if you want to have get date single moms purely for just something casual and hooking up every now and again, that's one thing. But if you're going to get involved, understand there's a lot of these stereotypes you're going to be dealing with. So you have to question, ask yourself, do you really want to deal with this? So be, be careful before you start dating them and then let yourself go falling in love with them, which 
I, sh I urge you guys not to fall into that trap, but I got plenty of guys that watch me here that are from guys that have nothing to do with women to guys that do pump and dump, guys that date casually, guys that date seriously, and guys that are married. I got everybody here. So just be aware of that if you're going to start dating a single mom. Be careful before you go fall in love with one of them because you're going to be stuck dealing with a lot of bullshit. Continues on. Dan also dislikes coming second in a relationship. A single mother will always prioritize her children over me, he says. I've been stood up a few times because the children are sick or the child care has fallen through and I want someone who wants to put our relationship first. Well, okay, then don't get involved with a single mom. Yet relationship psychotherapist Karen Burrow says the problem isn't single moms, but the immature commitment phobic men who won't date them. Of course, blame the guy, don't blame the woman. She says, this is an immature and selfish way of looking at relationships. A woman would have to be very, very attractive for me to be able to look past the fact that they have children and make me want to go out with them, says Paul. I know it's getting harder to find single women without children at my age, but I'm going to keep looking. There has to be someone out there. Lucky her. So there you go, guys. This is another article talking about the single moms, showing you why... A lot of headaches involved, so you have to really question whether you actually want to go down that route. Again, it's casual hooking up, that's one thing, but getting in a relationship, you can be in over your head, it may not be worth it. And the way I see it, guys, life is short, okay? And a lot, most guys that, that follow me here, I can see the percentages because it's provided by YouTubes and the analytics. Most guys that follow me here are generally in their 30s, okay? So, you know, a lot of you guys have already been married, and are following me. Do you want to go through all that shit all over again? Life is short. You want to enjoy yourself and be happy. You don't need the added stress. There's enough stress in life as it is, let alone that kind of bullshit. So just be careful what kind of situation you put yourself in, okay? But like I said, not all single moms are like that. Let me make that abundantly clear. But a lot are a lot fall into the stereotypes. And I've known a lot of crazy ones. So just ask yourself that. Go over that in your head before you actually end up accepting a date and so on. So, all right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know your experiences with the, with the single moms. Share it because a lot of guys read the comments and it can help them out before they go ahead and make a decision. And I appreciate that all the videos you guys leave in the comments. It definitely helps a lot of viewers out. And be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.